I think we're all trying to make sense of, of where we are right now. Uh, you're always looking for a storm and also trying to hedge risk. Where are we and what kind of risk are you trying to hedge? Where are we? Uh, you know, it's, we're in the, the middle of a massive boom-bust cycle. And we've been here for a while. Um, I, there's no telling when we're going to get out of this. Uh, we know the bigger the boom, the bigger the bust. You know, we, we learn this. Uh, we learn this from his, history. But, of course, what we also learn from history is that we don't learn from history. And this is why these boom-bust cycles uh, persist like this. So, of course, then the question becomes, and, and, and to excuse the sort of baseball analogy, it's like, what inning are we really in? Mm -hmm. And as an investor, when you're starting to think about mitigating risk, right, you had this incredible quarter in the middle of a, a true crisis. I assume it becomes harder when you don't think a crisis is at hand, at least in, right in front of you. Yeah, well, I don't need to time these things. I can remain agnostic about it. I need to as risk mitigation. We go into extra innings. It can go on forever, right? Um, I don't think it can go on forever. You need to act as if it can. But uh, you know, my, the, my point is, in my book, is that risk mitigation is something that you should be agnostic. agnostic. It, shouldn't, it, it shouldn't be tactical. It should be strategic. That's really important. It shouldn't require a crystal ball. Um, one of the things that people are thinking about using as a risk mitigation for inflation uh, is crypto and Bitcoin. Uh, we were talking uh, before, before we came on just about the number of people here at this very conference that are fascinated by crypto. Uh, you know, the guys in suits and sneakers. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is your what's your take on crypto right now? I think the thinking behind crypto is, is, is good. I think that people are thinking about the problems of monetary interventionism, the problems of, our, of the risks to our banking system. I think that's underlying a lot of this. The problem is I feel like we, we've kind of killed the golden goose with speculation behind it. I mean, people think of crypto as sort of an antidote to these things that I'm talking about, the systemic risk. Um, or the speculative nature of, of, the, of, of the market. But I think what it really is is, is more of a symptom. I think they've got right. that, that wrong. I think it's, it's, it's because we're in this credit boom that we're seeing something like this. There's too much liquidity out there. It needs to find assets. Crypto is one of those. But I, I guess then the question is right now, do you, do you, I mean, if you believe that the, we're still in this, this massive boom cycle mm -hmm. with, with, without a bust in sight, mm -hmm. does that mean you're just massively long or not? And how do you think about that tail risk, which is what your fir firm is famous for? Mm -hmm. So this notion of being long or short, that, that means you have to time it. But risk mitigation doesn't have to be that way. Risk, risk mitigation doesn't have to be, do I think the market's going up and down? You know, we can think of risk mitigation um, like, uh, like a driver driving slower, and you get around the track slower. So it, it hurts your returns. Or you can think about it as doing something that allows you to drive fast, like a pit stop in racing. It allows right. you to actually drive faster. Um, but this isn't the way really modern finance works. Modern finance says that you need to take more risk to get more return, and as you take less risk, you get less return. As long as you're getting that ratio right, risk-adjusted returns go up. But I think this is the whole problem now. I think it's a massive dilemma that investors face.